Hey guys, it's Tiffy here. Um, I'm going to show you guys a quick tutorial um, about how to merge your files um, for Sims 3. Um, I know some people have a hard time with this and there are some tutorials on there, but some people like to actually see it instead of uh, reading about it. So um, the first thing you're going to need is you're going to need to go to um, the SimLogical website and download the actual package editor. Um, I will leave a link to this forum um, in the description of this so that you can just click on it. Um, and then you need this thread right here, which is the package editor, and um, the download is right here. Um, just use the Windows Easy Installer unless you actually know what you're doing. Um, first, you're going to need to get this if you don't have it. I think it'll let you know. Um, there's a lot of things that need network, uh, I mean framework for, but uh, if it says that you can't install it, you probably need to go download this first. Um, and that's in the link to this thread. And then you download this and you install it. I'm not going to click on that because I already have it installed. Um, so after you have gone through that and installed it, um, you open it up. and um, once Sims 3 PE is open which um, if you cannot find it once it's installed or it installs somewhere weird or anything like that you can always just search for it down here um, and so and then you're going to go to file new and that'll create a new thing and then right click your mouse and hit import and then experimental as DBC and you click on that uh, I can't find, yeah, I changed my documents around here. That's okay. Um, you probably won't get that notification. Uh, and then you click on wherever you have all of your files that you're going to be doing. I'm going to merge some hair while we're doing this. And so I have all of my merged files that I have unmerged in one location. So all you want to do is open up the merged files that you want to put all into one file. Select them all like I just did. Hit open it's going to do that and then you choose where you want to save the file it's making and then then you choose the name for the file um, so I'm just going to name it um, and then you hit save it doesn't matter where you want to save it, you can save it in the same file or not the same file. Um, it doesn't really make a difference. And then it's going to start this process. And this process can take anywhere from 2 or 3 minutes to 30 or 40 minutes. It really just depends on your computer and how many files you're putting in there and what type of files they are. Um, and then it's going to show you down at the bottom. And you can do other stuff. Um, it will make your screen flash a little bit or at least mine does. I don't know if everybody says. But um and then once that finishes, you'll have the file and um and it'll be where you saved it at and then you just drag that to your Sims 3 mods folder and all the files that you just merged are in there. Um and so it's really that that's really it. Um if anything is confusing or you guys want me to go over something again, you can just comment on this video and let me know but uh, yeah that's really all you need to know about merging files and you can merge pretty much anything um, I do not merge my mods I do not merge my uh, poses and I do not merge um, I believe I'll open up my my mods folder and look real fast um, I do not merge my poses. I do not merge my skins. I do not merge any patterns, hair colors, and my defaults and any of my mods which are all right here. Um, so those are all things that I personally do not mod, do not merge. Um, some people merge everything. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. And um, like I said, if you guys have any questions or anything, just let me know, and um, I will try and help you. Thanks. Bye.